No, I don't. You, you know where they are. I'm a professional. <laughs> I'm a professional. Yeah. I don't need to look at the stick. I don't need to look at my controller to play video games. No, I don't. Oh, man. This Shin is pretty much how this works. The only Thunder in the top 16 versus the third Maya in the top 16. Three Mayas Maya. and winners. Maya These are the three best Maya players that very exist. Very high level character. Wow. Tristan has done three successful dash forward, hit you with my face. I actually like Thunder in this matchup. However, I do like Steve over Tristan a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll see what more, happens. Maybe though. a bit more controlled in the mind games at some point. Yeah. Wow, big cross up. Doesn't convert the damage though. Yoga Fever. It's nothing. You know what? I love it when Thunder Pops Instinct. Because yeah. I always catch one forward dash. It's like <laughs> free damage, I swear. Do Not now. Is it right away? Yeah, they, most most will do it always. forward has got a really good counter for that. Thunder Shadow Triple Axe. I can't do it. I can't break it. It's very hard. I do, so the, last, hard. I do the last three hits because it's the only part that has any rhythm at all. I can't do it. Sage, I'm taking the first round right down to the wire. Both characters are losing. Actually, he's losing his instinct right now. Not looking for a place to use it. And Shin Tristan identifying that he has the ability to throw his daggers and get him back. So he's uppercutting like crazy, which is projectile and vulnerable. Cashes out the damage super hard. That gives Mega damage. Sage Ham an amazing advantage. Tristan is about one hit away, or one block away even, from getting his instinct. Big overhead. Now that I think about all these Mayas, I wonder why CD Jr. didn't commit to Asako like he said he was going to. Great damage from Tristan. All of a sudden, he's back in this really bad. Oh. Steve goes for the shadow counter. I like how he went for shadow counter instead of DP. I do too. And that is the second time Tristan has broken that heavy one. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have committed to counter breaker as well too you risky. Maya's shadow counter is the worst in the game. Slow. However, it still covers a lot of situations. And it moves forward more than a lot of different shadow counters. Yeah, as well. so you just need to get in there and know what you can and can get what can't get away with when you're a Maya player because yeah. shadow counter is just too important a part of the game overall to not use it. To just say just to write hers off as the worst one because it didn't work a few times yeah. to not use it. Very, very important. As a full core player, I miss shadow counter. I do miss it. I don't I like saving my pips for stuff. It's, it's an expensive of, resource. It's an expensive resource with that character. It still is. Here we go. Crouching heavy punch, one of the one of the biggest moves with a ton of block stun. Uses it's a great thing to set up for any command grabs after. Thunder gets a free setup after it pretty much. A lot of hits. Sage gonna maximize the damage, go for the hard knockdown. You'll see almost every Maya end combo with crouching heavy kick. Didn't break that time. I, I appreciate Sage M not going for counter breaker setup. Really That's back dash in the triple axe? I don't know about that. That was weird. He probably wanted it to block so he can dash to it again. Dash forward. Ooh, nice. Straight I like counter. it. I like it. Stop, 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 stop. Yep, the uppercut will definitely take care of that. Activates very fast. Sacrifices the meter resource, but in all honesty, Maya does not get a ton of damage on her combos, and usually the best way to save her meter is for the one thing that she can do to wake up with. Wow, that poke. Exchanging standing medium kicks between each other. Shin Tristan still looking away to get rid of that first health bar. And he's got it. That's it. And he's going to get meter ender at the end as well. Feeds a little bit of meter to Maya. You know what I hate? When players like are at full meter and they do an ender. It doesn't give you any bar. No, it doesn't. And yeah. it just gives the opponent And it just gives instinct. the opponent bar. I'm like, dude, Whoa, stop. Oh, scooped up. First EX command grab from Shin Tristan. Call of the Earth works. Oh my gosh. Just wants to get out of the corner. I would have done a little bit more corner carry than that, but he ended up trading sides. it was a good sides. call at least. Yeah. Then he cashed out the three level, uh, the three level thing and got 32% off a one chance break. Which otherwise would have been probably like 18 or 20%. Oh, the standing light kick into command grab. Season one setup. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Ooh, Saber Wolf mix ups. Yo, 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 With yo, armor, yo, and, and he Shin takes Tristan it. is going to take game two. Nice. Steve okay, guys. Thought. We, it's the same ultra as season one. Thank you very much. Looking as white as the sun. 
It's just the lighting. Cats go meow meow. Next game. <laughs> that shot is so cool. It's like one of my favorite shots in the game. Low profile up on Thunder. Whenever, whenever I put him in a trailer, I try to get that shot. Here we go. Short combo, hard knockdown. Go for the setup, and wow. That looked like the floatiest jump I've ever seen. He was up there for a half mile. Good break from Tristan. Made the good call. Another good call. Another good call. Wow. Three hard reads from Tristan right now. Thunder also a character. And most Thunder players rely on hard reads. Doing a great job. Almost countered every single thing that Steve has thrown out over the past uh, couple of attacks. Tristan is going wild with his overheads. Yep, and all of a sudden, it's not going to work out for the last one. See? He's landing Complete. a lot. Oh my goodness. And I really would love to see Steve shadow counter, shadow counter those. He's clearly... Uh, I think he's saving the resource. He needs it for the uppercut. Yeah. That's punishable. You're probably right. Didn't get it. Wow. Oh, forget the armor. Hit the armor out of it. Get tackled. Game had to think about it. Okay. It's, yeah, it's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. <laughs> We're okay with this. What I haven't seen Tristan do is um, not once has he taken advantage of the new like elemental activation thing he's got where he strikes himself with lightning, right. gets the new ability. I definitely, definitely a much better tool than the projectile than before against Maya. Yeah, and I think it's definitely useful in this matchup. Because uh, all However, you need to do is sneak through one dagger to yeah. really cripple her game. You don't really get an option on when you use it after you activate it. It's your next dash, right? right. Okay. That's probably why he's not using it too much right now, because Maya can make the approach very fast. Oh, great uppercut. Read the back jump. Just down slightly on life. Very good. Really good call. Quick recovery. Solid damage. Oh! Big he punish. Is so overhead happy. Activate. Oh, you don't ever want to die with instincts. Okay, he's got to activate now. Right. Wow. Good call from Steve. Trying to grab him out of the uppercut. Steve That's going to work. Loony. I chuck. Yeah. I love it. So that seems to be a at least small damage answer to the stomp after, no matter what, whether he does it or not. Yeah, he's not going to risk the, the will I or won't I mix up. Yeah. Just going to hit him, take what he, what he can get right there. There's a lot of players that go for that guaranteed damage. Like, for example, AJ, after every single throw he connects with, he goes for a confirmed Heavy Widow's Bite. Right. And that's it. Never yeah. gives you a chance to break, takes the extra 4%, and just leaves with it. Most Adira players try to get as much jumping BS as possible before they catch it out on the ground, right. leaving a lot of spots where it's very obvious what button she's going to press. So it looks like... A uh, character switch has been made. Wow. Tristan's, Tristan's switching to Sadira. All right, Sadira, see what you got. Oh, corner pressure right now from Steve. Grab solid damage, 15%. Big manual. I had a funny feeling he was going to break. Steve has not gone for one counter breaker in all four of these games too risky. so far. It is too risky. Just let, him, just let him get out if he I wants to agree. get out. I do agree. Feel like the uh, feel like counter breakers great for younger players, and I don't mean like younger inexperienced players. I mean like these kids have not seen the hardships of life. They do not know that you get that is a serious reason why you don't want to do that. Right. They just see the they just see the positive outcome. Yeah, I definitely think there are a lot of. of other ways to blow up breaking that aren't counter breaker. Uh, but the problem with shadow moves is that the only way to stop somebody from breaking your shadow move if they have the timing yes. is counter breaker. So I guess the solution there would be to save your meter for utility or openers or yeah. enders uh, instead of going through shadow linkers wow, just to build PD. Extremely dominating. Yeah, this is a bad switch for Tristan. The comfort level is obviously not there at all. Yeah. Usually, in, in all honesty, if you stick with a character twice and then switch to the character in your final game, it's oh. pretty obvious that that is not your, your comfort zone. You're just trying to counter pick and hopefully get, get a couple wins in. Steve's going to take this. He can't break this one. Oh, you don't think Tristan's going to bring it all the way back, Max? He doesn't have any instinct. But if, if she had instinct, I'd say maybe. It's Shin the god Tristan. But 
playing Sadira. He's the There you go. Oh. <laughs> but, so he's the only man willing but, to call himself <laughs> the god. All right. Trusting goes but, to losers. But, but there's no logical reason why that would happen.